Hey everyone, welcome back to more Dreadlands. I'm Disturbing Puppet. This is my Scarbex gang, the Red Haze. So we've got a little bit of a plan today. I've got a side mission I want to finish up up north, and then if we have a chance, I'll try to continue the main storyline, which right now is finding Tanner to talk to him. I've kind of made an agreement with the uh, new high-tech group we found called Antares, and uh, the guy that sort of went off on his own to attack them without our Thane's position... Uh, approval here. The so Thane Prime's kind of in charge of all the Scarback gangs. He uh, kind of had this second in command who went behind his back and had us attack this group just out of kind of spite. Um, and now is hiding and he stole some cerebral cores from this high tech group. Not exactly sure what that is, but we'll find out. So, what I have to do to kind of make amends is kill off everyone who was responsible. So, nine, uh, kill them off, right? Not bring them back. Uh, Caster and Nine, as well as the Cerebral Cores that were stolen in exchange for Antari, sparing the lives of your still relatively ill-equipped gang. Yeah, so we've got to kill them. But first, you need to find them. Antari's commander, Jacula, suggests speaking with the silver-tongued Tanner, the man that seems to be almost limitless, or have almost limitless knowledge and connections. And he's off to the west um, in an area that's really weird-looking. Um, so Typhus Grove... I ended up having to turn the gamma down because the glare was just insane over here. Um, the gamma was up because some of the areas in this are really dark. It's hard to see things. But then if I have it up, some of the stuff where there's like this weird sunlight hitting fog effect just turns into this massive glare. And there's no glare adjustment uh, in the menu. So, well, um, the other mission we have to turn in the side quest is up here in Sleaford Mounds. So we'll head up there, hit that, and then I guess we'll head in. I haven't gone to any of the communities here in Typhus Grove yet, so maybe we'll check those out as well. So that's the plan. Um, I did pick up some new gear, nothing too exciting, kind of replacing some axes. I tried out a new gun, which I didn't really like that much, so I'm back on my mini guns with everybody. But I've got it in case we want to equip it to somebody else later. Um, I can still pick up another... Uh, Revenant type, which is the same as Jason. So he can use a big heavy gun if I want to. Um, we could also kind of spec him for close combat, but he's a little slow for that. Alright, so we're going to head up and try to turn in the side quest first. That is the plan. Hopefully I'm not going to get ambushed a bunch here, sort of on the way, trying to deal with this. Got to go past the outpost and then up. And again, I, I wish I could move this map around. I wish I could zoom in and out on it, that kind of stuff, but you can't. Actually, I should check and see. Is there anybody around? Anybody else hanging out anywhere? I don't see anybody. Like other players is what I'm looking for. All right, let's head on up. I'm going to skip the... Ah, we're going to get chased here. I managed to actually spot them in time, though. Maybe I can avoid them. If I get far enough away, they'll kind of give up the chase. It's just sort of a irritating and time-consuming. Uh, fighting the critters, they really don't have a chance. We can just destroy them. The events are sometimes good, so they are worth checking out, but when I'm trying to get stuff done quickly, it's uh, sort of counterproductive. Because sometimes there'll be fights, which can take, you know, 30, 45 minutes. All right, we're here to turn in our quest to a guy that I did some side missions for, well, a side mission for before. Uh, he's just a music lover. I'm pretty sure there'll be another side quest up here as well. Uh, is it Jay? Someone else might have... Yeah, Graham, actually. So you've got a side mission, but I want to turn this into Graham, who is up here on the bridge. I've got his USB sticks. And I'm pretty sure that chest back there is just USB sticks. Mm -hmm. Hopefully I can find some nice music here. Thank you, friend. I think I was doing kind of an Elvis voice for him before. Uh, but I ended up scrapping that video because the audio was so bad. Hopefully I can find some nice music here. Thank you for him, though. Not your friend, though. I'm not sure how he can actually listen to music on USB sticks, but all right, sure. Got a record. we get some cash. Anybody else have any quests up here? I know there's the one back at the entrance. So the camera freaks out because I'm zoomed in a little bit. I like the bridge and stuff on this. It's really kind of a cool design, little community. All right, so you've got something for me. Yeah, I'm pretty sure because of his last quest, there were 
USB sticks we could find around this area, and I'm pretty sure that's just what this is. Yeah. Okay, I didn't actually mean to take that. I've got to immediately drop it. Because I have no use for it. It's a quest item, and I've already done the quest. Jay? Alright, how are you? If you're Job Seeker, we should have chat. Sometimes we are. Fire at will. Look, it's a long story, but I'll tell you this. Leaford Mounds is a decent place, all things considered. But we're missing out on one thing, though. Look at all this land, mate. Is anyone growing anything? No, they bloody ain't. I'll spare you all the whys and hows for now, but yeah, I'm trying to get it sorted. Mm -hmm. I'm doing like this weird Boston accent, but it's, the way he's talking is more like Australian. Rotten ass is bloke. He, got, he gets the shit to help out, but the bloke doesn't do shit for free. Mm -hmm. Gritty Runt charges these three Grimclaw... Claw, Grimmaw... God, I can't even talk. The Greedy Runt charges three Grimmaw Claws just to ear me out. That's where you all and I can possibly connect. If you can get your hands on three grim dog claws, we're in business. You'll find those fat furred pieces of pure hate around the western meadows. That sound alright? Okay. Three grim maw claws. I don't think I've run into a grim maw before. Western part of the meadow. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't know what kind of critter a grim maw claw is. I'm kind of thinking like death claw from fallout immediately but i'm hoping that's not the case we'll find out i could probably deal with the group with the uh, death claw seven you want to buy a record do you have anything worth buying probably not because i'm not high enough to buy anything too crazy it does have an armor breaker I could upgrade everybody to Lacerators as a secondary. I've got a couple, but I still need to get one more Head Splitter, and that's kind of what I'm looking for. Everyone else have kind of upgraded their axes to Head Splitters. Yeah, that's fine. If I could find some more Combat Armor, I might switch over to that too. Uh, Bandit Armor's two health, Combat Armor's one armor and one health. I haven't seen an upgraded version of that either, so that would be interesting to see. All right, what do we have? So the western part of the meadows. I don't know if it's actually going to give me a specific location or not. Everything else has, so I would kind of assume it does. The only thing it hasn't given me specific is um, when I have something that's like, there's something scattered around this area, find some. Okay, yeah, it is giving me a specific spot, so that's probably a specific area, one of the uh, like little beast areas, where there's kind of a big tree-looking thing on the map. Alright, let's head down and hopefully not get ambushed. One of these kind of things, one of the lairs. I'm curious what kind of critter. It's probably just a, a regular, normal type creature, but I'm hoping for something interesting or different. A few... That says grind moss. Didn't it say grim moss? Grind maw. Okay. Yeah, I'm just crazy. And can't read. Alright, let's check them out. I think because I'm trying to go through quickly, so I tend to stumble over stuff. I'm also a wee bit dyslexic. All right, beast hunt. Kill them all. Okay, that just looks like a bear, but we'll see. Um, we can stick with the same group we've been running with. That's fine. Click is not going to work on bears or something bear adjacent. Okay, I want to see them. Yeah, they're just bears. Alright, fine, whatever. I mean, they don't exactly look like bears. 
something is wrong with their faces. I don't know. I've never seen. It's like bear and rhino and mole rats or something. I don't know. That's really odd. Okay, we've got three and spitter. Spitter is kind of a pain. Take him out. You've got no ranged. There are a bunch of trees right in my way blocking my ability to shoot them at range. So I might want to deploy... Yeah, that's not great either. Probably deploying here-ish. Actually, maybe even here. Have them come in and maybe on this line I can shoot them. I wanna, I've want got ranged weapons mostly. I want to stay at range. I want to hurt them at range. So I'm going to try to lure them in. Yeah, let's put everybody else up first. Wyatt has really good ranged weapons. Cover doesn't matter as much here um, against beasties. So put a few people out in the open. We'll be fine. I don't think I'm going to have any shots because even though this is open, we still have this in the way of them. I just want to draw them over. But they're going to get across a pretty good chunk of the battlefield before I'm going to get vision, which does kind of suck. I think I'll put Tusky over here in case they do charge this side. Just the positioning is not good here. There is a little bit of an area there I could see through to get long range shots, but it's not great. All right. So I'm not going to see much of anything here initially. Just take a look. So with the rock there, I want to get past the rock. So I've got a good line down this way. And I can also see a bit that way in case they come that way around. So that sort of works for me. So I'll kind of hang out in this area, I guess. Wyatt is not going to have a shot anywhere, I'm pretty sure. Unless it's a really bizarre angle somewhere. Yeah. Um, let's come out, kind of going in the same spot. Jason, on this side, I might have some view if they come down. I'm going to move out and try to lure them in. Well, actually, let's go right on in there. Because I can always fall back and shoot. I just want to hit him at range, if at all possible, early on. And I know they're still quite far away. Okay, Tusky. Hmm. We'll duck in here for now. So they are making use of cover coming in. I'm not super surprised. Okay, I do have a shot there if I move up. Might want to stay back as far as possible. That's my shot chance. 70's not bad. We can take out his armor this way as well if I can land hits. Um, I could use Adrenal Pump, but I'm just going to light him up. Hopefully. Okay. Didn't pin him, but we did take care of his armor. Wyatt. Let's put you adjacent because I get hit bonus that way. 100%. Your armor's already toast. Let's see what kind of damage I can do. Nice job. Jeez. 
Okay. I wonder if Shifty... Yeah, he's too far away. I can't actually make it in to get a shot anywhere. He is, yeah, pretty far back still. Okay. On the other side, Jason has shots. Uh, if I pin somebody, I can get a bonus chance to hit with Jason, but Jason's got a weapon that's going to shred armor. Um, I do want to take out that spitter, though, before he gets a chance to do anything. Let me see if El Toro can hit the spitter. Okay, I've got to go there. That's a 60%. Because I don't want to miss this, I do want to at least pin him. Use my Adrenal Pump, increase my chance to hit. If I can pin him, I have a better chance to hit him with Jason. Okay. Animals do have pin resistance, but that should work out fine. He also ignores the first damage that comes at him. So you already can see him, right? Yes, so we're at 60%. Okay. Combat drugs. I'm going to try to just kill the spitter. And then I'll drop an overwatch. Yeah, critters really don't have much of a chance here against me anymore. Tesla's got nothing to do. Um, I'll come out a little bit, I guess. I could start moving Shifty back. He's still awfully far back there, though. Actually, let's go here. I'm just going to kind of hang out in case I want to charge or counter charge anything coming my way. Nothing I really want to do, so I think we'll call it good. They're still hugging that cover. Okay, I do have shots there now. All right, let's aim, or should I not? 70%, I just want to take his armor out mainly. Uh, I'm gonna hope the 70% will hit him, that way I can drop an overwatch as well. What is it with 70%? I miss a lot of 70% shots. Tesla? I don't suppose you have a shot. I think you do. Not a good shot, but a shot. Shifty, can you get around? What's my shot chance back here? 55, I'll take that chance. Nice. Double hit. That saves some other shots I can send up at the big guys. Unfortunately, I didn't shred the armor. So Jason's going to have to do a little armor shredding for me. Um, I guess we'll just hit the guy on the front. Well, I've got... I might have more shots at the other guy. Who can Wyatt see? Both. Better at the guy in the back. All right. So we will shred his armor. Or we will totally miss. rely on overwatches to stop them, I guess. Uh, Tesla, I don't suppose you can drain one. No. I mean, I can shoot him, but I can't drain him. Not from here. I think he's, because he's in cover, cover screws up my drain ability a lot. Seems like someone has to be, like, out in the open for me to be able to use it. Um, I do have an okay shot there. Um, I'm going to drop an overwatch, though, just in case things go bad. Wyatt? It's already 100%. Have to deal with the armor, so be it. 
a little tiny bit of damage. You have super short range for your Overwatch, but we'll do it anyway. So El Toro will take a shot and then Overwatch. He's pinned, so we can't do anything already. I could try hitting the other guy and hope I get a pin, which kind of stick him in place. I guess I'll do that. Yeah. A little bit of damage, no pin. That's fine. Uh, I could toss a grenade at them if they're close enough. Kinda. Yeah, we'll just overwatch. No, no, no. <laughs> it's the problem with trying to do this. It sometimes thinks you're trying to click on these. Okay, and Tusky, I think we'll lock him down with overwatches, so you should be fine. Just let him come. Well, one will come, and he'll get shot a bunch. And that's it. They're pretty much screwed. Okay, because I think we've got the firepower, I'm going to go ahead and aim this shot, try to take out his armor. Okay, armor done. Wyatt will take a shot and then reload. Uh, go for the back, the front guy's already pinned. Nice hit. Reload. Tesla, I might as well shoot, because why not? Um, let's try to finish him off, I guess. Yeah, just the amount of firepower I can throw is just too much for the beasts. 70%. Uh, let's aim it. Okay. Toro, get the guaranteed hit that should finish him off. And that's all. Gather three claws. I don't know if it'll automatically do it. There we go. Claw of a grind maw. An extra bear tooth, some bear meat. So return to Jay Fern. Uh, at this point, doesn't matter who I select. Everyone's maxed out on XP. Okay, so we'll head back up, turn that side quest in, see if there's any other side quests up there. And if not, we'll just head over into Typhus Grove. Give it a second. If I do a couple things at the same time, it tends to want to crash on me. Okay, head just up to Sleaford Mounds, hopefully not getting ambushed on the way. It's a little hard to spot stuff coming at you on the map, but when it's open like this, sometimes I can. And then kind of run in the other way and sort of avoid it. Run up the mountain! All right. Currently friendly. Just right here. And we could sell our stuff. Okay. Cheers, mate. You got them claws for me? You're all sorted and sweet. Off to a good start then, ain't we? Keep in touch, all right? Should be more jobs coming. Thank you. And despite him saying he'll have more jobs, he does not have more jobs. So we'll sell off the bear meat and bear tooth. And I don't think anything would have changed here. I do have access to more, some more stuff because we are now uh, renowned, I think. Revered, I think, is the setting. 
We are not exalted, but yeah, I think we're revered. That's why the blue stuff's available. Um, there are some upgraded things. Upgraded long shot. Extra range. Wow, 32. It's the bastard. 10%. That's pretty good, actually. That's the same assault rifle that I have on um, El Toro. So that is pretty good. I'm not sure if it's like six glow good, but it's pretty good. Okay, anybody else have anything? I kind of doubt it. Okay, we're good. So I now don't have a side contract. Every community seems to just have two or three. Just enough to get you to kind of the revered status. Although I think one of them didn't quite get there. Um, one of the places I went to did the side missions. But if you want to go higher than that, you'll have to trade in either the scrap metal or the medical supplies that they want. Okay, so there is a way over from here, but then there's also kind of a bridge somewhere around here. I don't know if it's above Stilt Sphere or below Stilt Sphere. I think it's below, actually, like around here to get over. So I think we'll head in. Oh, somebody's over there. The Gray Union. Um, so we'll head in. Uh, I might go to Boilworm Beach on the way just to check it out and then head up there. That's kind of the plan. So we'll have to head down south, hopefully not getting ambushed. At least not ambushed much. would help if the roads were a bit more obvious in some of these places to kind of give you an indication of where you needed to go. It'd be fine if you could move the map around, too. Like, if I could move the map around, this wouldn't be much of a concern. I could figure out kind of where I needed to go. Instead, you're sort of stumbling around a lot. Uh, I haven't looked over here, apparently. Okay, that's into Gaunt Glow. That doesn't really help me. That's a whole other region. So we've got this nice, like, bomb crater lake and river. There's our bridge. Okay, welcome to Typhus Grove. So yeah, even with the... I turned the gamma down, so this is much better than it was before. So at least I can kind of see now, but in further up it's kind of purple. So I want to head down south-ish and work my way around. I've looked around here a little bit, not to like a massive extent. There's an event there. There's a bridge. It's probably across the bridge, right? Yeah, it'd have to be. Yeah, I came down here. There's a bridge here I didn't cross. Hmm. Probably either way is going to get me where I need to go. Probably. This is a little bigger. A lot of encounters around. Pretty much a straight west, but we've got a big mesa or something here. Okay, there's something ahead. Where are we? Boilworm Beach. All right, we're here. Let's take a look. So it was obvious someone in a humorous mood. God, I can't talk. It was obvious someone in a humorous mood who named this putrid, fly-infested bog of a town. Beach is hardly the first word that springs to mind when this jumbled clutter of stilted huts, floating shacks, and treehouse dwellings comes into view. The pungent stench hangs thick all over the settlement. It's Florida! We found Florida! It is very jungly. 
Burble Spew. Okay, great name. Found Nurgle cultists. Well, what do we have here? Some lost little sucklings looking for their mommies? Keep it up and my fist will come looking for your face. Haha, mm -hmm. uh -huh, these sucklings had some bite. They like you, stranger. Welcome to the beach. Alright, we got a little chest. We got glowing radioactive mushrooms. What more could you ask for? So we turn stuff there. It's kind of oddly spread out. Got some docks. There's the vendor. Side mission there. Let's take a look at the vendor. Don't have anything to sell. Do you have anything interesting? Probably not. I can't buy a lot of stuff. Um, you do have a head splitter. I do need another head splitter. That is true. Yeah, I keep looking for... I got combat armor a while ago, and I have that on my leader. There's got to be an upgraded version, but I haven't seen any yet. All right, I'm going to take the head splitter. Because I do need that on somebody. Somebody still has a basic axe, I think. Yeah, Wyatt. Have a head splitter. It's just a via very mild upgrade. So it has the same bleed and pierce, uh, 2 plus 2 as opposed to 3 plus 2. So it's just one extra damage. Nothing too fantastic or crazy. I've got the cash, so I figured I might as well. All right, let's talk to Effie. Yes, I represent Gord Cressetas, so if this is about the job, let's talk. If not, then just keep walking. It's about the job. We're good at such things. Marvelous. This job involves investigating an underground dwelling. Last we heard, the place is riddled with this kind of fuming, snarling, and completely pointless beast life we all know and hate. Put them down, please. I also need samples from the remains of the people who work there. A bunch of eggheads. I need three <laughs> I need three body parts. Could be a finger or a foot or a roll of belly flap. Just put anything up there. And remember, we do this for the learning, because learning is good. Okay. Gord Kriosotos. Current heavyweight champ of the Boilworm Barons. Okay. Interesting. Sure. I'll take it. I don't think I'm going to do it right away, but take a look. Is there anything else I can collect? Um, why are you tiny and you're gigantic? Okay. Bree, me, a renowned glow hunter digging through dirt for worms. How did it all come to this? And Earl is massive. Can't stand this grove heat. Drenched day and night. Jobs, talk to the barons. Creostos or Effie. If you want the big ones, I need a fresh towel. Let's go back to my leader. Um, you usually don't have anything interesting to say. Tesla's hanging out. No, that's actually Gord over there. Let's go talk to Gord. See if he has anything interesting to say. Can you smell that? The sweet nostril nectars are renowned boil worms. Mm -hmm. Smells like rotten fish. Okay. Nonsense. That's the smell of profit. Okay. Right. There's got to be at least some crates or something around here I can pick up. Odie, rib spreader. Them tree hunger sure to love their shrooms, but nothing beats a taste of boil worms. Oh, that doesn't sound very good. Credits I will happily take. Clee Siron. Ah, boil worms, as far as the eye can see, the world doesn't know what they're missing. So, radioactive freaky fish of some kind, I guess. Okay, one more chest over there, and dock vendor, Hedar. 
Am I actually even walking there? Okay, I am. Yeah, the vendors always just have the same generic stuff. They don't have anything interesting, really. I could sell the axe for two bucks, but I think I'll turn it into scrap metal. Although, at this point, I've upgraded my base completely, so scrap metal doesn't really do me much good. Maybe I should just take the cash. Cash I can at least buy gang members and stuff with. Yeah, I, since I did max out everything, I don't really need the scrap anymore. Okay, let's head on out. I do like this artwork. Who the frack was the fellow who named Typhus Grove on? Or what the frack? I mean, the Typhus part sounds about right, but Grove? Like calling the downfall a gentleman's disagreement. Okay, we've got our story mission quite close. That's back. Oh, somebody's moving. Gray Union is running around on the map. You might even be doing the same quest. So I'm not sure if the quests are actually different for the different factions or if they're all kind of the same. So this must be Tanner's tent camp. Uh, this is where the silver-tongued man known as Tanner was last seen. While it initially looks completely exposed, you get a tingling sensation that there's a danger here. Hidden right beneath the surface. Like mines. Probably mines. Mines and booby traps. Okay, Tanner's just right there. Um, all right, so on the map it just showed a tent, but this is a bit more extensive than that. I mean, there is a tent, but he's got some fortifications around. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, we meet again. I don't remember talking to Tanner before, but I could just be losing my mind. So he's supposed to give me a lead on, I guess, Caster and Nine. So what do you got? Tanner, we need a favor from you. We need to track down some Scarbacks. Normally, I'd tell you that I'm busy, but as luck would have it, I might actually need someone desperate and suicidal for this one job. What do we need to do? It's simple. I just need you to fetch some data for me. Fortunately, it's located in a glow-radiated zone filled with mutated beasts. If we do this, you'll help us find the ones we seek. Of course! Why would I lie to you? Why would I lie? To you. Alright, sure, whatever. Find Tanner's data. It's not going to show me till we exit. So it's another one of these, talk to the person, then you can kind of go to the next step. I'm take a look and see where things are. Maybe take care of something that's close. I could maybe head into the other town as well, but I can't pick up any quests right now, so there's not a lot of point. Um, okay. So, back up in Sundown Meadows, apparently. Yeah, just find his data. That's it. Okay. So, we're heading back up that way. Maybe I'll take care of this on the way checking out the body parts. If it's fighting animals, it shouldn't be too difficult. That's actually really hard to see the difference between like just regular stuff and the lair. I do like kind of the spikes and stuff around the settlement. It's pretty cool. All right. We've got another bridge here. Okay, that's still just Boilworm Beach. Okay, I'm going to head up and try to get to this side quest. I thought for a second we were down in the river. Yeah, probably down. So it's body part. Mission body part. I didn't even notice this place when I came through here before. Was this not here? It's kind of the crane. It's the difficulty of, like, I can't zoom in, so it's kind of hard to see stuff until it's sort of pointed out. Oh, there's something there. Oh, yeah, there's a 
crane and uh, it looks like a missile silo or something. Yeah, it definitely looks like a launch silo. All right. Effie represents Gord Crisotos or Criostos. Criosotos. And yeah. Find the body parts, kill the critters, Roger Dodger. This is actually like the only area I've seen that looks pretty intact. Although this is going to be bad for me for not having good lines of sight, it looks like. Um, I could maybe swap out El Toro for Navarre because Navarre has a shotgun. That might be more useful if we're in close quarters. Maybe I'll do that. Let's pull you out. Let's grab Navarre, because he does have that good shotgun. Um, yeah, that's fine, I guess. Well, there's our corpses. Yeah, we've got like tech still on and stuff. I haven't seen anything like this before. Well, I do have some straight shots. So yeah, we've got, I mean, toxic barrels, but dead guys, dead glowing guys. Is there anything of interest down here? Any crates or anything? I don't see anything. We've got bears and cubicles, but I guess that's nothing we can avoid. There is a spitter. Oh, there is a crate. It's just way down there. There's no way I'm making it to that in time. And if I did, I'd get jumped by a bunch of bears. I don't think that's something I can really do. I could try to push like Shifty and Tusky up straight at it, but I think that's a really bad idea. Um, let's put... If I am going to try for that, let's put Navarre over here too. Then... Shifty and Tusky in the hallway. So they could try to run for it, but I don't think there's any way I'm going to make it that far down there. Um, so straight shot down this way. We'll put Axel and Wyatt. I should have... Actually, you're a little off. I'll have to kind of move out and over a little bit because it doesn't quite line up. It's lining up kind of there. I'll have to move out and over. Okay, Jason, uh, maybe we put you there as well. You kind of move in on the bodies and just gun them down in the hallway. Or I could run the other hallway. Yeah, let's put one minigun in each hallway. Just put you in the center. It doesn't leave much for the other side, so Tesla is about the only other person. Uh, he can drain, which is better in close combat, but that's about it. So we'll run up each hallway, see how it goes. Okay, can I see anything? That is a big no. That's kind of in line there. Let's. I'm going to head here. Now, if they do duck down and try to run around the various different ways, it is going to be a little bit of a problem. I'm trying to catch them in the hallways. Wyatt, you've got longer range. Can you see anything? That's a giant no. So the hallway is too wide there. Unfortunately, my Overwatch range is really terrible. I'll still go ahead and do it. Just because I want to keep them together. Come on. This is actually kind of cool. I like there's actually a different map for these old ruins still intact. So I think you need like a fallout shelter or something in this game. 
Okay, Navarre. You are just going to run like a maniac forward. Shifty can get pretty far, but that's still awfully far from our objective. I'm just going to run out. If I end up being bait, that's fine. Tusky. Have you two out front. And... Yeah, I'm just going to move in. Dropping an Overwatch now isn't going to be close enough to be effective, so I'll hold off. All right, let's see where they go. If they funnel down the two hallways. Yeah, they are trying to use cover. Not a fan of bears that are smart enough to use cover. That seems a little unfair. <laughs> yeah, we're already down to like two turns here to get to that crate. If I run full at it, I might be able to get to it by next turn. But that seems mildly suicidal. Uh, Tusky can get a little further, maybe. I try to run him in. I feel like this is really dangerous to do. So, shifty. Move up. Overwatch. A uh, little concerned about the center room. But I think I'm okay for now. Uh, Navarre. That's not going to be close enough. Just run for now. Jason's not going to see anything. This really is not playing into my strengths, that's for sure. So at least I have a couple overwatches to kind of protect Tusky. Uh, if I can avoid him getting in close combat, then maybe I can run by and have him grab the objective in the crate before it blows up. Wyatt, you're not going to see... Oh, we do have shots if I get up there. Okay. Not here, but there. So does Axel have a shot somewhere? You do not. Okay. Okay, I'm going to have Wyatt move in. Gives me a shot on the bear in the back. I guess it is still pretty far away. Cover the hallway. I almost feel like I'm playing uh, the way the hallways are set up like this. It's kind of reminding me a bit of uh, Space Hulk or something. Um, okay, Wyatt. Take the shot you got. Fortunately, he does have armor. Okay, good damage, though. Didn't pin him, so we're still going to keep coming. Tesla. This one's trying to sneak around. I wonder if he's going to try to come down here and maybe pop out. I'll try to cover like that away a little bit. I don't think he's going to come that close next time, though. Um, I could drop an action, but they're still kind of far away, so I'm not going to bother doing that. There are a couple of them out here, one of them being the spitter. Let's see what they do. He's going to charge me, probably. No, he's not. Just moving out into the hall. Okay. That's a little surprising. He is blocking my way to get to that crate, though. That's disappointing. All right. Uh, 
Shifty. Got their leader there. There's nothing I can really... I can't kill him. If they're both pinned, I think I can run by them, but I'm not 100% sure. So if I move over, I do get a shot bonus. What does that put me at? Still a terrible chance to hit. If I want to get a good chance, I've got to come way out here. So I'm going to kind of push it. So 65%, I'm going to go ahead and inspire. I'm going to go for the spitter. Okay, downed. That definitely helps. Unfortunately, the big guy here has armor. Jason can see him. Okay. I'm going to go combat drugs. And I'm going to aim. Because I want to light this guy up. Take out his armor. Decent amount of damage. Okay, he's pinned. Now, Tusky. Now, he's still blocking. Okay, the bar has a 60% chance. So I can shoot an Overwatch, but that's about it. Or I could move in and get a better chance to hit. All right, I'm going to move in. Let's light up their leader here. Okay, did get a bleed on him. He's hurt. Yeah, there's no way I can get to the crate. Unless I can kill him. Because even if I kill him with Tusky, he's still in the way. So a charge and kill uses all my actions, and then I don't get to the crate. So I might just charge in on their leader then. That's kind of frustrating, but oh well. So the other guy that was lurking back here came out. So he's standing in the hallway. So Axel. I think they're going to come this way because it's closer. So I'm going to go ahead and adrenal pump and I'll aim. Gives me 100%. Take his armor out. No pin. Wyatt, 100% without aiming. I'm going to go ahead and take the two shots with Wyatt. Okay. I've got a way to unjam it when I get my next turn and then I can reload. There's nobody else around here that's going to be an issue. There's no way I can get a shot over here with you. Got one bear in the back. So I'm pretty safe. I'm going to have you run over this way. Okay, Tusky. I'm going to give you some combat drugs. Then I'm going to light your weapons on fire. Now I expect you to kill this guy. Nice. It's still not enough to get this, though. Because it uses all my actions just to do that, and then I'm stuck. Now I could go ahead and give him some armor, um, because he's probably going to get charged by this bear. Or I could just drop that bear's actions by one, which means he can't do anything. Because you need two to charge, so I'll just do that. So that'll screw him up.
So we can just move, grab some cover, that's it. Okay, pretty smooth. Don't know that anybody here is going to get a shot. Um, I have a crummy shot with Navar. Forty-five. Actually, that's not too bad. I'll use the adrenal pump, increase the chance to hit a little bit. I'll try to do some damage to him before I send Tusky in there. All oh, misses. Shifty. Would you like to take a chance? Looks like it's going to be low percentages no matter what I do. 30 there, I guess we'll do that. It becomes 40 because when I move and shoot, I get plus 10%. Wow, both hit. And I'm just going to finish this off, hopefully. Alright, that's it. Collect the body parts. Can I just auto do it? Yep. We've got a severed head, a severed hand, another severed hand, and another severed hand. What? Three scrap metal, three medical supplies, all that's pretty good. So back to boil worm. I'm just waiting for this to do its thing before I do anything else. Just because. Oh, somebody's right here. Grey Union is like right on top of me. They might even be doing that mission. Or a mission in here. Yeah, they must be in there too. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. Maybe they're doing the same story. I'm not sure if the story is different between the different gangs or not because I haven't played around with the other gangs. I would hope it's different. But it might be like some of it the same beats and stuff. It might be very similar. Okay, I'm going to turn this in and then we might be calling it a day. I've got a decent amount of cash, but I don't know if there's anything I really want to spend it on. All right, let's go talk to Effie again. Mm. I know the job's done. The red haze. Good stuff. Keep it up and you'll go far. <laughs> I don't know why I decided on that voice, but I did. All right, she's got another one. Hey, we're fame level eight. Gang inventory slot unlocked. New tactic card unlocked. All right, we get to pick all positive morale points gained this turn by any of the allied gang fighters is increased, or for two turns, whenever the target takes direct damage, they take one extra damage. Pain amplification. Hmm. I kind of would rather kill stuff than mess around with morale things, so we'll take that. Okay, are there any other side missions anybody else has before I grab this? Just out of curiosity. Yep, oh, okay. I guess we'll talk to Effie some more. Back for more, huh? Well, lucky you. I do have more. Happy now? Overjoyed. If you add some details, I doubt I'll ever frown again. Oh, get ready then. We need to deliver a package to Chopper's Point upon arrival at your to meet some Frelsbeth woman. Apparently this Frelsbeth is a grove picker specializing in tasty fruits and berries. 
from the grove? Tasty? I can't BS on that. Anyway, we need to cross Olenov's gorge where she claims two rival scrapper crews are duking it out. So are you going or not? Okay. <laughs> I'm irritating myself doing this voice. Um, you deliver a package to for Elizabeth at Sharpest Point. I'm crossing Olenov's gorge. Watch out for rival scrapper crews fighting it out. Don't get caught in the crossfire. It's kind of a crappy getting bandages at this point, but sure, whatever. I didn't talk to all this. McLean. The lower beach is no paradise, but it's home. It's uh, John McLean's very distant later descendant. Okay. Uh, yeah, check with the vendor. Okay, that's our stuff. Let's sell the bear meat. Uh, if anyone has any glow, I'm going to go ahead and pick it up too. Sometimes the vendors will have some glow. So at this point, I've got more cash, and glow is much harder to come across than I would have thought. Yeah, protocoil is something I do have a protocoil, but it, I didn't really like it that much. Um, I do have it in my stash, so I might give it to somebody else and pick up a new person. I've got all the heavy mesh. Um, the Warmongers are an upgrade to the Hellion, so they do extra damage. They have all the same abilities, but they have decreased range, which I think is kind of weird. They do have extra shots, so they can shoot six times instead of five, but having four decreased range, so range of 20 as opposed to 24, I'm not a huge fan of that, especially for 85 bucks a pop to replace my Hellions. I'm assuming it's also one extra damage per bullet, and we're firing three bullets, so it could potentially be a, you know more than just one damage increase, but still. I think I'm good. Okay, I guess we'll head out and take a look and see where this is. Because I'm not even sure. I haven't explored Typhus, explored Typhus Grove much at all. Okay, it's way up by Glowbound. I haven't been up there yet at all. Gray Union's still there. They're probably doing a mission in that area. Um, yeah, I think this is probably a good place to stop. Um, I tempted to go do this next story mission up here, but that's probably going to... Well, it could just be talk to somebody and then send me somewhere else, which is actually pretty likely. Um, so we find the data. There's some critters... Yeah, it's probably not that difficult, but I think we'll do that next time, maybe. Um, I might try sticking more to the main storyline for um, recordings and stuff, just because, you know, viewership's kind of falling off a bit. Um, and I'm trying to do mostly story mission stuff, whether it's side quests or main stuff, but it's taken quite a while to get through all this, so uh, maybe I'll speed things up a bit. Kind of right now, I'm sort of like, uh, I could play this game some more in my free time, but I'm worried I'm going to go somewhere or have something cool happen without recording. But if I'm just focusing on the main story missions, it helps me limit a little bit. But uh, anyway, that's probably going to do it for today. Um, I'll just head back, I think, to the safety of my hideout. Oh, Great Union's on the move. Actually, I want to see if I can see them on the map. Where are you, Great Union? Directly east of me. Oh, there they are. I can see him. He's a Fame 1 running around over in Typhus Grove like a maniac. Actually, I think he's concerned that I'm ambushing him on the bridge. <laughs> I'll move back. Just to give him, you know, some space. If he wants it. She could, like, wave. Is he taking off? Yeah, he's going all the way around. Did he get by? Yeah, I think he did. He's, so he he saw me on the bridge and was like, nope, and then went down around and went up the bridge and into the town. It could be hard to tell if you're playing, like, if that's, like, someone who's going to ambush you, or if it's, a like, is it an AI-controlled group that's going to ambush you, or is it, like, another player? In order to fight other players, I think you have to actually agree. So even if someone tries to jump you, you I think you have to, like, actually agree. No one's done it to me, so I'm not sure. But I think from reading the um, patch notes and stuff, it said something like that. 
All right, I'm going to head around and we'll just head back and go to our hideout. If I can find my way through this jungle. Where's the crossroads? There's the bridge. And instantly we get a tint change. Somebody there trying to ambush me. Silver Company. Oh, that's another player. Isn't it? No, it's not, actually. That's a lurking AI. So they look basically the same if you're just kind of running around. You might have a hard time telling unless you kind of look at your map. Okay, in we go. So this is kind of a safe place to save and stop, so that's where I'll do it. Um, if you save somewhere else, when you come back into the game, it just dumps you out in the world, and sometimes you get immediately ambushed, which is it's not a big deal. It's just a slightly irritating, that's all. All right, so I think that's what we're going to call it. So next time I will head up and try to deal with uh, the Tanner data stuff. Um, we'll kind of worry about the other quests over here later. Um, I haven't checked out anywhere in here or here. I've kind of explored a little bit to the north. I haven't gone into the sprawl yet, and then there's all this stuff down over here too, and then the big question marks. So it's actually a really big map, there's a lot of stuff, but um, the fact that you get ambushed all the time is sort of irritating when you're trying to like look around and explore. Um, anyway, that's going to do it for me for today, thanks for coming by, hopefully I will see you next time. This has been more Dreadlands, I've been Disturbing Puppet, have a good one.